with your hands? No, nah, I didn't have any questions. He, he pretty much is spot on with everything, and, you know, we just got to go out there and battle. It's, it's a season I hope and wait for you. Um, it was pretty good, man. Um, coaches took care of us as far as the practice week last week and just, you know, getting these guys healthy and staying focused. I took a trip home down to Jackson, just visited mom and everything, and got back in yesterday for yesterday's practice. But I think it did pretty good just for the, the mental psyche because, I mean, playing football and, it's like, you know, it's a grind. I mean, people only see the 12, 13 weeks of the season, but it comes from all the way beginning of the summer to camp. You know, it, all, it pretty much all connects. So that break definitely makes. What would it mean to you guys to at this point get to 500 Oh man, that'd be that'd be huge, man. Just especially come from coming from where we've been, you know what I mean. And I definitely understand Arkansas situation. You know, we've been in that situation too. But you know, this is a competition. You know, being 500 at 500 or even better. You know what I mean. Finishing strong than just the rest of the season would be a big time for us. There was so much talk a year ago along those lines about just getting the six wins, just getting to a bowl. You guys obviously have a chance to do a whole lot better than that. How much does that motivate you? How much does that get talked about in the locker room? All the time. All the time. I mean, we saw it coming. We knew it was a possibility. We knew the beginning of the year was going to be tough, but we knew we couldn't, you know, we couldn't let losing three games straight affect the rest of the season. But, you know, we, I think we're um, a messy tough team. You know, I think the leaders that we do have, you know, keep, try to keep everybody focused along with Coach Freeze. You know, he understands, I mean, like he just said, you know, at the end of the day, football is just a game. You know what I mean? Don't let everything and a loss or the scoreboard affect you mentally. You know, I think we, I think we push on every week just accepting another challenge. There's so many top 10, top 15 games that you guys have to play every year. When you do get an opportunity like this week it's against a team that is struggling, does it ramp up the pressure? You've got to get these wins because these are the whole, you don't get so many gimme opportunities. Right. Uh, well, playing the SEC, you can almost expect every game to be a battle. I mean, it, does, it really doesn't matter. Nobody saw Auburn coming this year. I mean, we did, you know, not saying we overlooked them or anything, but because we knew we had to battle, but, I mean, they're ranked in top ten right now, you know. So it, that's, just the, that's just the part of the game. You know, we don't really look over anybody. We don't feel like any game's a gimme. I mean, so it's just got to come out there. You got to at least approach it and begin the game like it's a championship game. I mean, everything else will unfold. How big is the game to start, you know, Start the stretch right with the, with the win, going with the rest of the oh, season. It's huge. I mean, like I said, simply just coming from last year and just getting six wins, and the fact that we can get this uh, this six win with you know three four games remaining would be big. And you know, <clears throat> just for the psyche and what the rest of the season looks like, even after this game, I think it'd be pretty huge. From your perspective, what is the difference between the way Chad and Octavius and Jalen all run football? They all have their, I guess. Yes, it's for good attributes. You know, all of them are good kids, good leaders, and a hard runner. Um, I can't say that one's fit for. I know Octavius runs pretty strong and hard, but I can't say that neither one of the other ones shy away from contact either. You know, I just like you know Octavius finish runs better. Jeff is way better. You know, he's pretty good in the open field. Um, Jalen, he just got that you know that burst you know to him. So all of them have those good things about them that are very very big, very big time. Having six straight games in Oxford, I mean, how's that kind of help with that grind you're talking about? It helps a lot. I mean, I mean, it, it, I've been here for a while, so I've I've seen kind of every schedule. I've seen straight morning games, you know, I, and I used to hate them because you had to wake up so early. But like, I I mean, I miss one. Like, I'm so excited this game's early. So, but the the six straight home games, it's pretty cool, man. I mean, it's unexpected and kind of you know awkward, being, you know, being weird, just being in, going straight to Tupelo every weekend. But it also it also helps with the routine, you know. You know, we're not in a different hotel. We kind of know what to expect. You know, the Walker Champion is always great, and it's a good motivator. So, and being in our stadium, it's just, you know, we always get that home crowd advantage, and it's a good feel. Emmanuel, did you watch uh, much of Auburn and Arkansas? I did. I did. What, what were your impressions of Arkansas? I, I'm really surprised that they've lost this game. Sure. You know what I mean? Or just having these, these struggles. I mean, I can't diagnose because I know watching film last week, you know, they're talented D-line defense, you know, and maybe a depth issue, maybe, you know, I, you know, it's not, I definitely not a talent. They got the talent. It's SEC. But um, the talented team, you know, I don't know how they're going to come in our game. I know they're hungry for a win. I mean, because, like I said, we've been in that situation before. I've been in that situation before. Just been on a team where you really don't even know what's going wrong or what's going on, but, you know, the wins are not happening. But, I mean, we can't do anything about that, but just go out there and play. I mean, they may, they may fight harder, they might roll over. We don't know.